Welcome back to Adobe Dreamweaver CC. In this tutorial, we're going to discover the inspector element and tool, and also uh, figure out how to adjust some margins to uh, make this uh, image here work a little better. So you can see here this Kleckner impressions. If we go to the uh, real-time preview, the Kleckner uh, logo is way up at the top here. If I want to push it down a little bit, um, I would have to adjust the margins uh, in order for that to happen or the, the padding inside that element. So uh, let's go back to Dreamweaver here and see how we can do this. So the first thing I want to do is um, show you this inspector tool, which is this one right here, this little target over here. And if I hover everything, you can kind of see that it gives you kind of just like when you're in a website and you right click and show inspector you can see uh, the basically what element is there along with the uh, padding or margins on it and if it's bumped up against each other. So for this element, uh, it's an image, but it's contained in this header, which also has this nav bar, which is a paragraph tag. So what I want to do is actually select this uh, header element and adjust it. So I have it over here in the um, the CSS selector if I click out somewhere just click out here uh, to escape that that tool here uh, I'm gonna click on this element and then hit the up arrow until I select the header tag here and with this header tag selected what I want to do is add some margin here so if I make sure if I click this this will link it and right now it's at the pixels um, but there are other units here. If you click on this, you can adjust to wherever you want here. You can also set it to auto, um, which would uh, do automatic sort of uh, margins all the way around. What I'm going to do is simply click and drag on this number, and you can see how all of these margins are updating. Now, you can also see that my image is drawing up and down. So if I want this to be, say, at I don't know, 20 pixels from the top, you can see that. Now what's happening here, if I click on the inspect mode here and hover over the element, you'll see this sort of peach sort of uh, color all the way around and you can see how the margin is all the way around. Now uh, if I don't want it all the way around, I can uncheck that center element and then just have 20 at the top and not have it on the other areas, which is pretty much what I want because I don't necessarily need spacing on everything here. I may have it on the bottom because it is kind of nice to have some separation between this element and this, but I don't know if ultimately if 20 pixels is what I want. But I wanted to show you again, I'm in real time preview here, you can see how it's pushed this uh, the, the name down quite a bit further here, which is kind of nice. So uh, again, uh, to escape out of this tool, you can just simply click on the tool to click out and then click on the element that you want. And again, I'm just hitting the up arrow to go to the header tag. And here it is in the uh, CC, uh, CSS designer. So if I drag this way down, like 92, and again, go to real time preview, you can see how far down that's created a buffer between here and from here. And um, in order to see that real time preview, remember, go file, real time preview, and then choose whichever uh, browser you you have loaded on there so what I'm going to do is set this to I think about 20 uh, would be good now if you find that you're sliding back and forth with the left click of the mouth isn't great just click in there and type in a number so if I type in 20 and then hit enter and there it is and we got 20 pixels now I'm not sure about these here so what I'm going to do is put zero uh, whoops actually let me go back to 20 here and then unclick this guy by clicking this now I can adjust these individually so I'm going to type in zero for padding I mean uh, margins there and zero there so that each side will go all the way out and we can ch uh, test this by clicking on the inspect mode and you can see now that that sort of peach color hasn't gone onto the sides so if I want to get rid of the bottom or reduce it maybe I just want to reduce it um, which might be the the option here maybe I reduce this to I don't know, maybe five. So let me type in a five here and then hit enter. Um, now we can kind of see how it has a little tiny bit of buffer there, um, the five pixels, which is kind of nice. So you can have a lot of fun with your layout and you know the inspect mode really helps you out in seeing this because the real time preview will show you ultimately what you want, but allowing you to uh, 
go back into that inspect mode is, is very powerful. So that's a basic overview of how to deal with margins. Again, just click on these uh, percentages or pixels or whatever. And then if you want them all to have the same number, click on this. And if you want them to be unlinked, uncheck. You can always trash the element. So if I hit show set here, um, basically all I have is this besides the text align center property. Um, but now I have that. So until next time, see you soon at Adobe Dreamweaver CC. Cheers.